Just got word. Belikov is back in Moscow. You guys know the plan. Bell, you're with me. Lazar, be ready for Exfil. Are you taking him into the KGB with you? Are you crazy? Wait for Mason or Woods to return. I don't need Mason or Woods. I need Bell. He's got the skill we need. Are you enjoying this? You're risking the entire operation unnecessarily. It's not unnecessary. It's calculated. Just understand that if you botch this, we can't get those names. It's over. I know you can do this. Hudson doesn't trust anyone he can't control. Set it up in the darkroom for you. Have you come to convince me that you should be headlining this operation? My service speaks for itself. Years in the field and in intelligence. Oh, is that right? Well, at least you're not hiding behind Adler. I'll grant you that. Now what is it? How well do we know this Belikov? That's on a need-to-know basis. And from where I'm standing, there's no reason in hell you need to know that. You're to make contact with him and follow Adler's lead. Can't Belikov just get us the names? Negative. Digging into the KGB's most classified database would blow his cover and burn years of posturing. He'll get you in, but he won't go near that list of names. Will we assume fake identities? We can't take the time to fabricate them. Belikov will get you uniforms, and from there you'll need to improvise. Strategically speaking, this board is on insanity, which is precisely the type of work we rely on Adler for. And where does that leave me? Either as Adler's most trusted ally, or as cannon fodder. I'll leave you alone. An excellent proposition. A rogue double agent born dark for several years. Nope. Moron. I suppose she must have exposed herself somehow to the CIA. What's on your mind? Do you think we'll actually get inside the KGB? This isn't the first government agency I've broken into. The best are virtually impenetrable. But there's always a weakness. In this case, the weakness is the KGB placing too much trust in one of their own. So I'm the right person for this mission? If there was ever an operation suited to your skill set, it's this one. I handle the talking. You get us the names. Why do you ask? No reason. I won't let you down. Mm-hmm. How well do you know Belikov? I don't. He's not one of mine. Does that seem like a risk to you? If I couldn't put my life in the hands of vetted strangers, I'd be in a different line of work. Is Belikov one of Park's agents? No. MI6 focuses mainly on the perimeter. Agents in client states. Smaller figures within the USSR. They go from the outside in. Belikov is one of ours. Supposedly. I'm trusting Hudson here. Man can be a pain in the ass, but he's no fool. I have to ask. How did you get that scar? Scar? You mean this? Is it noticeable? You know what they say about kids falling in with a bad crowd? Well, let's just say I fell in with the worst part of the bad crowd. The girl wasn't worth it. Believe me. Okay. That's all I needed. Okay. For what? Time to break out your Russian, Bell. What do you think about Park? Well, she's... <laughs> you know what this dude thinks about Park? She's a true professional. I don't trust anyone at first, but after Berlin, I realize she's the real deal. Park's one of the guys to me. <laughs> one of the guys my ass. Yeah, yeah. You been to the Lubyanka building before? <laughs> Hell no. KGB headquarters? Just between you and me. And me? And Sims. I hope I never get closer than pulling up in a car and picking you up. This has every chance of going tits down. Up, man. Tits up. Up, down. What's the difference? Talk to you later. Yep. It's a long way to Moscow. Bell, 
I didn't expect to see you back here. Any advice for sneaking into the hornet's nest? Less is more. Less talking, less interaction, less commotion. Blend in. It's the last place they'll expect an intrusion, so you'll have that to your advantage. Pretty much everything else is at your disadvantage. What's your role on this op? Coordinating infill and exfill. We've had to move mountains to fashion an untraceable route to Lubyanka Square. I'll make sure that goes off without a hitch. Getting you out, however, is another headache entirely. Why are you developing film? I've requested updated aerial reconnaissance to aid in planning your escape route. I don't want to run into any unknowns. Our path out of the Soviet Union will be anything but conventional. Hudson has no faith in me. Why? Hudson has his biases. There are people he'll never trust, and certain people he trusts impeccably. It just so happens you fall into the former category. I wouldn't dwell on it. Have you encountered any resistance from him? Hudson was leery about commingling with other intelligence agencies. But after President Reagan greenlit Adler's operation, he fell in line like a good little American patriot. Why have you been hiding that scar on your neck? Remember when I warned you about inquiring into Adler's past? Some of that was likely projection. We're not always proud of our scars. It adds character. A testament to your strength. <sighs> I believe there are better ways to embellish one's character. But in our line of work, it's often more important to diminish the impression we leave on people. I'll leave you to it. I'll be here if you need me.